Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss Maths Olympiad test paper for class 3. This is set 6. I have already uploaded few papers for a Science Olympiad and Maths Olympiad. You can check them also. Kids, the best way to practice this paper is take a paper and pencil and try to find out the answers by yourself also. Let's start. Question number one. If helicopter is called boat, boat is called auto rickshaw, auto rickshaw is called helicopter, then what is used as road transport? Kids, we know that auto rickshaw is used as road transport. But in this question, auto rickshaw is called helicopter. So our answer is option C, helicopter. Question number two, which of the following shapes is missing in the given figure? Option A, triangle. Option B, rectangle. Option C, circle. Option D, square. The answer is option C, circle. There is no circle in this figure. Question number 3. Select the figure from the option which is exactly embedded in the given figure as one of its part. Kids, look at the options carefully and find out the answer. And you can see that option C is present in this figure. This is here. This, these lines are given in option C. Question number 4. Find the word that cannot be formed from the letters of the given word. Here word Christmas is given and options are option A. Chair. Option B. Races. Option C. Shirts. Option D. Caroms. And answer is option D. Caroms because there is a O in this the caroms and O is not present in Christmas. So Caroms cannot be formed from the letters of the given word. Question number 5. Select the correct mirror image of the given figure. This is mirror and this figure is given. Let's find out the answer. And answer is option A. Because in option B, this is not a mirror image, it's water image. And option D also upside down. So this is not and cap is also missing in option D. These are cancelled. In option C, there is no stake in the hand of this figure. So option C is also cancelled. Answer is option A. Question number 6. If water bottles S and V are removed from the given arrangement, then which of the following water bottles is fourth? to the right of the sixth water bottle from the right end. Kids, the question is said that first remove bottle S and V. So let this is S and this is V. Now which of the following bottles is fourth to the right of the sixth water bottle from the right end? From the sixth bottle from the right end is First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth is R because S and V are removed. Sixth is R and now which is fourth? To the right of R is one, two, three, fourth is X. So our answer is X. Question number 7. Which of the following figures will complete the pattern in the given figure? This figure is given and we have to find out what will come at the question mark place. In option A, the shape of red part is different so A can't be our answer. In option B, this is totally white and in a uh, given figure, half part is red and half is white. So, B can't be our answer because there is no red part. 
in option C, the, if we see the given picture, half part is red and half is white and in two squares, the red part is adjacent. So, if we add this uh, option C here, it will be mirror image. So, answer is option D because it is correct. The red part will come with this here and it will complete the pattern. Answer is option D. Question number 8. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on either side of column. Identify the relation between the given pair and find the missing figure. The figures are given. If we see this picture carefully, we can, if we count the lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. There are 7 lines in the first picture and number is 7. In, number, in picture 2, there is 9 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 4, 9. So, there is 9 lines. So, answer is option A, 9. Question number 9. How many possible combinations of one pen and one pen holder can be formed from the given pen and pen holders? There are 4 pens and 3 pen holders. So combinations can be 4 multiplied by 3 that is 12. Our answer is option B 12. Question number 10. Select the odd one out. And answer is option D. Question number 11. In which of the following options fractions are arranged in ascending order? Kids, ascending order means in increasing order. We can see that denominator are same in all numbers. In all, all the given options have denominator 7. So now we will check the increasing orders numbers. In option A, 2, 9, 5, 3. This is not increasing order. So option A is cancelled. This is not ascending order. In option B, this is also incorrect. Option C is our answer as all numbers are in increasing order and this is that is ascending order. 2, 3, 5, 9 all are in ascending order. Question number 12. Find the weight of one bone if the weight of each bone is equal. In this weighing machine, there are two bones and weight is 40 gram. In this weighing, second weighing machine, bones are 3 and weight is 60 grams. That means the weight of one bone is when two bones is two bones is 40 and one bone is 20. 40 divided by 2 that is 20. Answer is option D. Question number 13. The shank has 1 rupees 500 note and 1 rupees 50 note. How much more money does he need to buy two guitars? The cost of one guitar is rupees 375. And how much money the shank has? The shank has 1 rupees 500 note and 1 rupees 50 note. So total money is 500 plus 50 that is 550 rupees. The shank has 500 rupees needs. Now, and he needs to he need to buy two guitars. So the cost of two guitars is 375 multiplied by two. That is two fives are ten. Carry over one. Seven twos are fourteen plus one fifteen. Carry over one. Two threes are six plus one seven. The cost of two guitar is 
750 rupees and he has only 550 rupees so how much more money he needs he needs 750 minus 550 that is 200 0 5 minus 5 is 0 7 minus 5 is 2 so he needs more 200 rupees more to buy two guitars answer is option d i hope you understand this question kids if you like if you understand this question please like this video question number 14 which of the following figures shows two by four shaded part kids look at the pictures carefully and find out the answer an answer is option b because it this figure has four equal parts one two three and four and out of which two parts are shaded that means this is two by four shaded answer is option b question number 15 find the missing digit in the box if remainder is equal to two It's given that 149 is divided by the number given in box and quotient is 49 and remainder is 2. If we subtract 2 from 149, then it is the number will be completely divisible. 149 minus 2 is 147. That means the number in the box multiplied by 49 equals 147 from the options we can see if we multiply 6 to 49 9 6 are 54 there is no at one's place there will be 4 so this is not our answer for option b 2 2 9 2 are 18 it is not 7 so option b is not our answer if we check option c that is 3 3 9s are 27 so 7 will come here if we multiply 49 multiplied by 3 is 147 so our answer is option c Kids, I hope you understand this method. Please give, give me a like. Question number 16. How many minimum straight lines are required to draw the given figure? This figure is given. Kids, count how many lines are there? There are total 24 straight lines. So answer is option C. Question number 7. Which of the following signs will replace the question mark in the box? This question is given and we have to find out what will come at the question mark place. Which sign will come? First, let's find out what is 56 multiplied by 2. 56 multiplied by 2 is 112. 2 6 are 12, carry over 1. 2 5 are 10 plus 1. 11 so this is 112 now which sign will replace here 106 plus 6 is 112 so this sign there here plus sign will come that is option a our answer is option a question number 18 the sum of the length of the wooden log and the ribbon is dash pins first what is the length of ribbon ribbon is here that is the length is of the ribbon is equals to 4 pins and length of the log is this is also 4 pins so total the sum of both the length of wooden log and ribbon is 4 plus 4 that is 8 answer is option B Question number 19. The number name of the smallest four digit even number that can be formed by using all the given digits 
if repetition of digits is not allowed is dash these numbers are given and what is the smallest number we can make from this first the smallest number that is 4 we will write down these numbers in increasing order first is 4 then 6 then 8 and then 9 that is 4 6 8 9 the number is 4689 and it is written in Option D. Answer is option D. Question number 20. The given clocks show the time in the evening at which Rohan starts and finishes his homework. How long does he take to complete his homework? Rohan starts her work, his work at the time in this given in this clock is 7 o'clock 30 minutes 7 30 and he finished his work at 9 15 so what is the difference between these times 9 15 minus 7 30 that is 1 45 hour 1 hour 45 minutes we subtract 7 30 from 9 15 first we take 60 minutes here because we cannot Subtract 30 from 15. So this is 60 plus 15 is 75 minutes. And then 75 minus 30 is 5 minus 0 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4. And here it is now 8. Because when we took 1 hour from here to in this minutes that is 60. 8 minus 7 is 1. This is 1 hour 45 minutes. Answer is option C. Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe.